Red Trace is a starter current draw amperage with an amp probe with a low current amp probe off of the battery wire and the yellow trace is battery voltage and what I'm showing you is basically uh, sometimes when you're doing tests on a crank uh, cranking the engine over and you're testing for a, <clears throat> for a signal wire you uh, might mistake a signal wire for a current amperage draw from the starter from the battery and I'm showing you the battery voltage versus the starter current draw Crank it. What you see basically is a The red amperage, every hump represents basically the, uh, every piston. And uh, basically the, uh, the voltage drops when the uh, starter pulls current. So that's basically what I wanted to show. They almost align perfectly. That's the reason you see the flickering in a light that you may uh, mistake for a uh, control signal waveforms. But it may not be control signal waveforms, it may be a uh, starter current draw because you can see that uh, the voltage uh, fluctuates between its uh, fully charged 12 volts all the way down to 10 volts all the way up to uh, you know uh, when it started it's 14 14 and a half volts when it's starting a crank over on a good battery it's around 10 volts and uh, it's just one of those things that you don't want to make a mistake with using a test light when you're cranking over an engine and you're checking for, for example, uh, injection pulse. You don't want to mistake current draw for a uh, control signal. So that's the purpose of the video to show you how much of a uh, current draw the starter pulls and how much fluctuation there is in the battery voltage while you're cranking over something. If you have a car that comes in and has a, a cranking no start cranking with a let's say no injection pulse and you're checking for injection pulse has no uh, fuel so you're checking for a control wire injection pulse you you hook up uh, your test light to battery positive you hook up to the control wire because it's ground side switch and you crank over the engine you're you're checking for control wire and you see the light flickering and you think that you have can uh, control from the computer for uh, injection control but you you have to check your powers to check the difference because if you'll check your power you're also going to see a flickering of the light so you want to check the power of the flickering of light of, uh, on the power side and also on the control side for the feed side there's going to be five volts coming into the uh, injector and then there's going to be the signal wire so you want to make sure you check both wires and this is the reason you want to check both wires is because of this this is the reason you're gonna see the flickering in the light because of the difference in the uh, when you your current that you're pulling from your battery is significant enough to affect the uh, voltage of the battery and that's what I'm showing you right here if you like my videos uh, click like subscribe and go ahead and comment and this is what I'm talking about with the test light. I have this is a uh, this is ground right here, and I got the uh, the end of this connected up uh, to battery positive. And uh, what I'm gonna do now is crank it, and I'm gonna show you what you might get, be confused with uh, uh, computer control.
See how it flickers? See how it flickers on and off? You might can confuse that for uh, computer control. That's not computer control, that's a uh, current draw from the starter. So don't confuse that. That's why it's important to check both sides, the power and the control side switch to, to test the difference, to look at the difference of your test light because different test lights have different draw and uh, have different brightness. 